All right, I'm here with Ayub, the founder of Fast Talk. How you doing today, Ayub? Fine, good. You, Andro? Doing, doing great. Hey, uh, so you recently got acquired, and I'm looking at your application right now, and it looks awesome. But before we dive into that, do you want to maybe give the audience just a brief introduction of yourself? They may not know you. Yeah. So mainly, my name is Ayub. I'm, I'm 30, uh, 30 year, years old. So uh, I'm an, an independent entrepreneur or, or indie hacker. I, I mainly work on uh, on mobile apps, uh, iOS, on SaaS and Microsoft tools, and uh, I'm partially digital nomad. So that's that's uh, briefly Ayub. Nice. Where's uh, where's the coolest place you travel to? Ayub. So the the last place was the the Emirates and uh, so I, I I was in more than 15 countries so every every one two months I'm, I'm visiting a new country so this that's is, so cool uh, that's something I wish I, I did but yeah I I, okay. I haven't yet well let's, let's dive into this so um fast talk do you want to um uh just tell me just kind of what is it what problem did it solve um maybe start there and we'll kind of go all the way to the acquisition journey yeah so mainly fast talk is an online document generator uh, it helps uh, professionals in, in multiple uh, sectors to generate documents in few minutes based on uh, on uh, on the answers to to some few few points the uh, questions so the 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 problem it solves it's it's uh, it's mainly related to to people looking for uh, ready made documents and quickly generated documents to or, or or as we as we say the the ready to go document to help them uh, continue in a process in the bank for like for business plan or with with a customer like for for quotes estimates invoice so they they shouldn't bother themselves with with the uh, and put more time in in creating documents that should be only uh, a part of the process of their their business and they should focus mainly on 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 their core core business so that's that's the the, the idea behind fast nice and congrats on getting uh the the golden get kitty award on product time for productivity tool of the year yeah yeah it's behind me <laughs> yeah that's that's a hard award to get yeah nice so, so how did you get um so you built this great product um how'd you get your first you know a uh, few users and customers uh main, mainly the we valid the first uh, validations of the product were with with the with the product hands and uh, we we tested the traction there on, on product ten, eh? and later we got our first paying customers, mainly in lifetime deals with some lifetime deal contractors like Pitchground and SaaS Mantra. And uh, this is where from where from where we get to get uh, our main main uh, first revenues. Nice, well done, simple and effective. So you built this uh, great product, and it looks like you got. Um, how many customers did it have at the time when you sold it? Uh, I think it's like uh, three, about 3,000 customers. 3,000 customers. It's around, around, around 3,000 or 3,000 and something. Ooh, nicely done. So you built this great product. Um, what made you uh, decide to uh, sell it? And get acquired so mainly we were generation revenues from lifetime deals with contractors and uh, we didn't yet start the the the, the subscription uh, revenues uh, part to to market the subscription uh, packs on on or plans on on the product and uh, so we uh, we were on a on a on a scale where we were uh, very very popular but not very profitable so all our uh, revenues were coming from from lifetime deals and mainly uh we got a lot of feedback uh, asking like uh, uh for multiple futures we built this this future those futures but mainly we had we have uh, other futures in the backlog but those futures we can't really put them on on a on a on a new, a new version of the product because uh in in uh, in the process how i i work or, or the mindset of uh, how i work it's uh, if the if the the future can be a, an update we put it on the on the next release and if it's need more work or need more time, we push it on a new product. So mainly, we uh, we needed to pivot the idea of the product at at uh, at a, a given point of time. So we decided uh, to to maybe work on another product rather to to, to, to add in uh, the future on on, on fast talk. So we decided to 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 push it in and make an in an acquire because because mainly uh, I have that that idea. So to if we work on a product and we put time, we we should. Uh, shut it down so 
uh, either we we put it to 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 be sold or we scale it. Uh, so it shouldn't be just our archived or, or or shut down and put in a folder and move to move into to to another another um, product. So mainly, uh, I prefer to to put it on uh, on acquire. So and uh, nice. it was moved. So essentially, you were um, already working on another startup. I'm assuming. And yes, you... yes. So uh, as a, the main the main point is that we can't we can't uh, any more focus on the product. It wasn't supported for for the the uh, late months. And uh, also we needed to to pivot the idea. And we can't uh, uh, produce a, a new release of the product with the future that were asked like customization or top list. So better to put them on on maybe a, another product rather than to to add in them on on a a new release gotcha so you felt like this was a good product but to take it even farther it would take a lot of feature development and additional features and you had another startup and you felt that had more potential so you decided to sell it is that correct yes the, the, the idea is uh, the the those those future that was uh, mainly asked by by many customers where uh, it, it was uh, uh, like uh, logical to put them on a new product rather to to add in them on on Fast talk as it's an idea for a new product, and then uh, that's that's the the what's, it, what's push out to to put it there and then and, and sold the, the product. Nice. Well, I'm glad you sold the business rather than you know shutting it down. Um, because this looks great in terms of you know document creation for medicine, for IT, for legal, for finance, lots of use cases. I like this. Okay, so um you list on um, acquire.com. Can you tell me what happened within the first month? What was the process like in terms of listing it, buyers reaching out? Was it surprising or the not? Main, main, mainly we got rejected the first time as we, the data we put like uh, it, it, it wasn't uh, complete. It wasn't uh, uh, in the point of view of a buyer. It will not be like uh, valuable or, or or something that that uh, that's my attracts buyers. So we 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 worked on the listing. We changed the things, and uh, it was listed on on acquire. And uh, from there, like uh, on the first or second day, we we started uh, having uh, buyers or uh, and or potential buyers and and investors. So it's not the f- I, I already sold two 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 other products, but uh, it, it, they were sold uh, directly on on escrow. But uh, the process wasn't uh, like a smooth. And easy like uh, we have done with the, with uh, with acquire. So it was the, the process of five or, or six steps. All, uh, uh, all, all was uh, clear. So from there, uh, uh, as I say, the, the the first week or second week, we started having having the offers that quickly. So offers in in two weeks. Yes, yes. I I, uh, I did have like uh, some low offers on, on on the first two weeks, but later like. Uh, I think in the third week we we have the the uh, we started getting some some good offers and we 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 picked one so we 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 gone on the process with with uh, with, with that one. Nice. What were some of the most um, common questions that buyers had? Uh it's mainly about uh, how 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 uh, the the tech stack behind the product. How many customers are there? Uh, there is some some, but uh, the the main point that all all the buyers need it was. A, a, an account to to access the 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 tool and check uh, by themselves so uh, every buyer was uh, we created an account we 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 were we were we give it uh, we give this to, to all to all the, the the people asking for 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 uh, an account to check so maybe there is some interested uh, very interested uh, potential buyers who were asking more questions like uh, about the 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 kind of revenues the expenses the the uh, the users the, the traffic channels for for for, for the product so th- that was the 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 main point of the discussion about about uh, fast talking acquire nice the product customers finances sounds sounds pretty straightforward and then i guess uh, my next question now i'm wondering so you have buyers reaching out to you you have buyers submitting offers how did you select the final buyer did you have a bidding war going on was there one buyer so, that really stood out ma- mainly the main point to, to select those those buyer uh the the, the accurate buyers was to the the, the budget that's that was uh, mentioned on, on acquire the the amount blocked 
posted in in, in Aqua the the LinkedIn page that was uh, the link uh, it was available on, on acquire so we checked every buyer uh, in linkedin on what on which companies he he was working or he was um MVCing and the, the things like like this so we didn't take a lot uh too much time in the process because because uh, once we got we got a a very interested uh, buyer we we gone with this uh, with, with him on, on on the process and uh, because this process of selection and of selection of of, of buyers uh maybe maybe it it takes times if you want to 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 really select some some between the offers between the buyers between the the all all the list because, because we were getting all, uh, really a lot of of of, of buyers and we, we we were we were doing the the automatic uh, the automatic NDA so every every day we have we have like four or five buyers who, who were signing the the NDA to access the startup to to see the 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 listing and the information and uh, we have one or two talking with them with 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 us and uh, I I mainly avoid uh, calls so every time I have someone I I need to to have a slot of of uh, calendar reserved or booked for 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 the, uh, that call and uh, in my daily life i i avoid uh, mainly the, the the taking calls in any in any circumstance so uh, like uh, the from the first buyers we picked one and we 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 started the process with, with him nice um did you get on the phone with that buyer that one buyer mainly mainly, mainly we we uh we we talked a little bit on on telegram so he sent a, a letter of intent and later we accessed a, a channel on on telegram where he where he added uh, uh, his developer his technical uh, man or uh, his uh, financial advisor his lawyer and at that time we we we, we know that that we 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 were uh, in, into something and we were into into a uh, an accurate buyer because there was there there were uh, a complete team uh, talking with us in 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 Telegram. Nice. It's, okay, that sounds great. You sound, it sounds like you found an experienced buyer serious about acquiring the business, and I assume you sign LOI and then moved into uh due diligence is that correct and, yeah yeah and and mainly uh it's it's mentioned in in acquire that he he already acquired through acquire like 11 11 11 stuff so this mainly, buyer did? yes i so, won't i won't ask his name but that might that might be a record <laughs> um, yeah i mean okay so a few a few tips um yeah selling to you know an experienced buyer can make all the difference in terms of making your life as a founder easier because one of the worst things that can happen in an acquisition is you sign an LOI with a first time buyer. And this depends on the size of the deal. And if you have team members involved and you're going to have to tell them that you're selling the business, if you sign that LOI, it doesn't mean you've been acquired. It's kind of yes. like yes. the first step. And so when you work with the experienced buyer, the chances of closure are just so much higher because it's not their first time acquiring a business and they have a, a plan for due diligence and it makes yes. the process a lot easier. So not to say first time buyers are, are bad, but experienced buyers will will close on an acquisition um, much more often than a first time buyer. Uh, so so that's yeah. great that you found um, you know someone that sounded like they knew what they were doing in terms of acquisitions. Um, but I'd love to hear about uh, due diligence, the funnest part where they go through everything. So, yeah. How did that how did that go? So, so mainly the the due diligence is is easy when you are mentioning accurate data, accurate information, and you are mentioning all all the things that are uh, factual and uh, and not not lying about numbers or about expenses or, or things like that. Uh, this is the main point. The the first point, second point. I'm a, I'm a deal partner, so I'm working like a solo partner with my partner. We, we are two founders of, uh, of 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 the tool. We don't work with, with that. Team. We, we we don't have our regular employees. We we have uh, uh, people working per, uh, as a freelancer. So we we know what is inside the code. We know what is inside the. We know everything about the product. So it was easy to do the due diligence anytime they want. We can uh, we can access the code review. The show them everything in the code, how it's operated, how it's working. Uh, move on the on the financial part. Uh, we were showing them like the, the the expenses on the server, the the incomes on the payment gateway, and uh, so the process wa was really smooth. Uh, it it 
took like uh, two or three months just because the 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 buyer uh, uh, did have some problems uh, like personal or, or family problems so he he was asking for for more time to 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 get into those problems before before he he continued the, the process but uh, mainly for the due diligence we like uh, I, I may say m- might say that we we have done it in in like a week uh, a weekend uh, two days it's saturday, saturday sunday it, and it, it's done that, because, that's, man, because that's fast yes. Yes, because mainly when when we have we have uh, we were with the, with the the, the buyer he he, ha, he, he has a, a team so we we were having a call with the with the technical uh, guy uh, he he asked us about the the technical aspects about the code source and everything so uh, later we 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 put, we have we have a slot of of, of uh, for a call uh, with the the financial advisor and then, and then with the lawyer for the the purchase agreement and uh, and it's done like uh, we didn't uh, took too much in the process like uh, the time that the process took is just to arrange the the calls the slot to 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 meet someone but for for the the, the content of the all the, of the calls or of the, the due diligence it was just in in a few few minutes or, or, or hours well done well it sounds like you can kind of prepared everything you know in a way where it was easy to answer those questions as you're going through due diligence um now i'm wondering um okay so you signed the asset purchase agreement now you got to transfer the assets how did that process go any um bumps or smooth process on transferring oh, assets as well yeah, yeah there, there was some some uh, a bit little of, of problems there like, are uh, like uh, yes so so the first time i i, I sold two i sold um my first uh, SaaS tools and, uh, and i sold uh, an ios mobile app on escrow directly there was no problem because i was using my my uh, my name so mainly this time i was uh like uh, i did uh, an error in the name so uh, it was there was a, a difference between the the agreement and the information mentioned in escrow. So they took us in another process to verify uh, mm-hmm. before before we can we can uh, we can uh, move on the transaction because uh, the, the the information mentioned in in the agreement should be the same exactly as mentioned in in escrow for for the buyer and the seller. So this process uh, let us like. Uh, we 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 should validate the 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 identity validate because because we 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 changed the we changed the some some other some name and then and, and some stuff but but uh, it it wasn't something uh, like uh, very complicated it was uh, uh, very easy to do nice. so for 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 the assets uh, it's just uh, like uh, i i learned from from my my old acquisition or or, or, or tools sold so i was organizing uh, everything into a folder so i i took the folder i sent it to to, to the team and it's okay and uh, we we got his uh, the, the emails we put them on the social media on linkedin and on on all the digital assets also for for the domain uh, like uh, like uh, i have done in my i have done errors in my old uh, acquisition so this time i i i I buy. Uh, I'm buying all all the domains from from a, a a provider that helps to to migrate easily for for another person. So it was uh, the process was 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 quite easy in 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 few few seconds. So we we put the domain and we we migrated to to his account and it was like I may say that that. that process of tran- of transferring the, the assets like uh, it took uh, 25 or 30 minutes so uh, nice because because, because my my old experiences helped to to anticipate it, things yeah i'm sure i was just about to say that you know just even going through like a really small acquisition at first but going through all the motions of you know signing an oi due diligence signing an asset purchase agreement using escrow transferring the asset just kind of yeah. going through that once um, makes a uh, second because and, and because, because in, in the first tool i was like uh, searching for screenshots in a folder searching for for the uh, the credential in another folder searching for file in the drive searching it's like uh it, it wasn't uh uh it was not uh, organized and i should for for the transfer of the assets i should uh, bring everything 
put everything in a folder to be ready to be transferred to 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 the buyer. But this time everything it was it was ready. Uh, every, every, everything was organized, so we didn't have any complication transferring the asset. That's great. Yeah, the, pre- the preparation that you give with buyers is just so crucial. From you know the beginning all the way to the end when you enter due diligence, just having everything ready and available uh, because that also gives the buyer confidence as well that they can rely on you and that they fully yes, understand the business. So that, good job that's what, yeah, yeah that, that's what put the difference between the uh, an acquisition that is done in in one hour because an acquisition can 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 take one hour an acquisition uh, and and in the, uh, at the same time for the same assets the same uh, things uh, it, it it might take uh, one month or, or three months or five months just for 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 those aspects yeah I've, I've seen it happen. So I, I love to hear how you, you know, shorten it as much as you can to, again, just by making it, you know, easier with the buyer. So nicely done there. Um, so it sounds like, um, you know, a smooth process all the way to the finish. And, and you said this was your third acquisition? Yes, the, the first two acquisitions, uh, as I say, it was it was for a very small amount. It was uh, directly on, on escrow, but on there was uh, there was uh, acquire i can't i can't uh, go to uh, an acquisition outside of, of acquire so i i i was uh, like uh, looking for and following the product from its early days and in the in the early days of covid so from from the first interface uh, ui and interface that that you were using like uh, till now so i i I have seen all the all the evolution of the product, so I, nice. it's like uh, there is there is a, you see you see a product from its uh, zero point to 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 now. It's, it's uh, there is a, a big evolution. There is a you can't you can't go go uh, directly on escrow where there is a a channel that will make it easier for you to to sell the product. Nice. So we um some of the issue that you ran into, we just pushed out a um, big upgrade to our escrow integration. So if you ever have issues with the asset purchase agreement not matching or your acquired username not matching, simple things like that that would slow acquisitions down with escrow. Uh, I believe two weeks ago we released it. So um, so those headaches, the next time that you sell another business won't be there. Yeah. Of course, of course, we will have to to sell more businesses there. I like it. So, if you um, so so being that you've you've gone through three acquisitions, um, what what advice would you give to other startup founders? Um, if you just had to give three points, three things to get right, what would they be? Uh, I would say the the first one is to organize your work from from day one. So if you have digital assets, screenshots, elements, everything, you uh, you might you might do it better to, to to have a folder for every every product in uh, product in your in your laptop. So it make uh, things easy, like uh, later. Or even if you you don't want to 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 sell or or to to excite the products, it's better for you to 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 have a folder organized for for everything in in the laptop. The the second point maybe uh, is to just don't make uh, don't make it perfect don't uh, don't make a hypothesis if you have a, a tool uh, and you you say that maybe it will not be sold or it will not be uh, having some interested buyers just put it on on on, on platforms like like acquire the, you don't know uh, don't don't make assumption uh, what's what's uh, what is a fox is is uh, the fox is uh, is uh, is a fox only if 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 it tried or, or tested the and the third point is uh, just don't don't sh- shut down a, a product if it's not working for you maybe it's uh, it's uh, it suits some someone else it's uh, it might fit some some other buyers who may be interested on in that product so just don't put all your efforts or uh, and time into into a trash or into a, an archive folder just put uh, put it on a on a on an acquisition platform and uh, you 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 don't you, you don't know what 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 may happen later that's great advice yeah i always say now like no startup should ever go to zero because you build a product you build you know yes. happy customers are using it yeah, it may not be that us. yeah it may not be that multi 100 million dollar business but to someone it's a good you know starting point 
that they see a lot of benefit from and they can breathe some you know, fresh new ideas and energy into the business. So um, I, I, I like that advice a lot. Um, if people want to learn more about your story, um, where are you going to find you? Mainly I'm on, on Twitter or on my website. So my Twitter is mstdio. So you can reach me any any time with with questions with uh, with any 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 thoughts or insights i will be uh, pleasure to, to to talk sounds good well you thanks so much for coming on this podcast and uh, i hope to have you again soon when you sell or yeah. have another business acquired yeah of course we'll, we'll make the week later so thank you andrew thank you and uh, i i really uh, advise people to 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 check acquire to uh, as I do, I, I check regularly the listing. There is a great idea that maybe uh, even even if, if you think if you don't think to to sell or to buy, maybe just to get inspired with ideas, with problems, with revenues, with with people making making uh, income from 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 tools. Maybe you can you can copy a tool from there and and and, and help you. You can also buy it. But I'll, we'll end on that note. Well, uh, you congrats on all the success and. Um, well, I'll definitely um, I'll keep following your story and I'm ready, man. Congrats. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Cheers.